Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips on how you can customize your digital planner. And I've also made some freebie widgets that I hope you'll like. And also stay tuned to find out how you can enter the digital planner giveaway. So I'm going to assume that you already have a digital planner, but if you're new to digital planning or you're looking for a planner, then I'm really proud of our planner builder tool. So all of our planner bundles come with this builder tool. And with this tool, you can pick between the full planner or minimal version, different paper colors, so white cream and different patterns. You can choose the color of your planner as well as dated or undated, Sunday or Monday start, different ring colors, color tabs or beige tabs, and then you've got the multiple daily and weekly layouts. So firstly, I'm going to show you the planner widgets I made and how you can use them for your planning. Now, if you're already using a planner, you can just use a white sticker to cover it. So back on your daily page, you can then add in the widgets. So these widgets are just little stickers that you can put on your planner. So I have made these in four different color schemes. And by the way, these will be in our freebies vault. And then you can just mix and match your daily widgets. So for example, I'm going to put this daily schedule on that starts from 7 a.m. And then I'm going to put my top priorities. And then I'm going to add the meal plan widget. And then I'm going to add in a to-do list. And then you can go in and either write or type in your headers. So the first time you do it, it can be a bit fiddly to get everything in the right place, but then you can just select everything. And then especially in good notes, you can just add it to your elements. And then the next day, if you want the same spread, you can just add it from your elements and it will all be in the same place. And I've also made some paper widgets. So dotted paper, line paper, and grid paper. And once again, I can just copy everything and then add that to my elements. And on another day, you can just easily put that onto your daily page. My next tip is about editing the titles in your digital planner. So for example, with this habits title, typically this is set as part of the design of the planner. However, there is a trick you can use to edit the title and you just need to have a pen that is the same color as the background and you can just erase over it and then type on your new title. And here's how you can get the same color pen as the background. So on the iPad, you can just take a screenshot, tap on this here, and then this dropper will appear. Put the dropper over the color that you want, and then this will give you the hex code. And then you can just paste that into your GoodNotes custom pen color, and then add it to presets. And now you have the same color as your background. You can also customize your planner by using inserts. And I'm going to link to a video I did previously that goes into a lot more detail, but here is a quick tip. So you can take a screenshot of your planner page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and then I can just paste that page on so what I'm going to do is I just want two TV show trackers instead of one side being TV and one side being movies so here I've made myself a TV shows insert so here I've just got TV shows on both sides and then on the next page let's say that I just wanted movies I can do the same again and I can crop out just the movie section back on my index page I can just edit the titles so I'm going to get rid of bucket list so now from my index, I have a TV tracker and I can go back to my index and I also have a movies tracker. My next tip is about making use of divider pages or hyperlinked pages that you are otherwise not going to use. So in my planner, I have these one to 12 divider pages that can be accessed from anywhere in the planner. But let's say I'm not going to use this and it just sits there unused. What I can do is turn this into something useful. So because this page can be accessed from anywhere in the planner, what I'm going to do is to add an element. So here I can add a to-do list onto my page. And then I'm going to use a white pen just to cover up anything on the page that I don't want. And I can also add in any other widgets. So I'm going to put these widgets in our freebies vault as well. So this is a exercise widget. So now from anywhere in the planner, you can just tap on that divider page and that will take you to this to-do list and exercise tracker. And you can use the same color pen to cover up that divider writing and you can either write your own title on it or use the text tool to type a new title. Now, although you've changed the title on this divider tab, it will not auto populate to all the other pages in your planner, but what you can do is copy it and then just paste it to your most commonly used pages. For example, your monthly pages. 
So instead of number 12, this tab now says to do on every single page where you've pasted that sticker. The next tip is about adding pages to your digital planner. If you want a hyperlinked extra pages, what you can do is to get a separate notebook that has all these hyperlinked sections, and then you can add this entire notebook to your planner. So now from anywhere in the planner, I can just go to my divider and then I can just swipe and access all of my extra pages. For instance, I wanted to add a reading tracker. I can just title this section reading and then I can go to that page. And then on that page, I'm just going to add in my bookshelf insert from my GoodNotes elements. And now I have an extra section for my reading. So this particular notebook I've added in has got dotted paper, but you can also use plain or lined paper or anything that suits your own preferences. And you can also customize your planners by adding in a set of hyperlinked themed templates. So here I have this me time expansion pack and I can just add this in by basically selecting all the pages. And then I've just copied that. And then back in my planner behind a divider page, I can just add that set of hyperlinked templates in. And then I'm just going to add in a title to my divider page. So then from anywhere in the planner, I can access my divider page for me time. And then if I just swipe, I've got all of my different me time templates. For aesthetic purposes, I like to make sure that my extra pages and expansion packs match the design of my planner. However, you can use any PDF. So here I have a purple business expansion pack and you can just use any PDF that is hyperlinked to some templates. You can just insert that file into your planner and that will give you extra templates and extra pages. Another way to customize your digital planner is to change a hyperlinked title. So for instance, I want to change this into a meal schedule. So at the moment it's called a week schedule by activity, what I can do is use a um, pen that's the same color as my background, in this case it's white, and then I can just color this over and then I can use the text tool and then you can resize this or move this as you need to and the hyperlink underneath will still work. So when you tap on this now, it will still go to that page and then you can just turn this page into a meal plan. And now for the giveaway, I'm excited to announce another giveaway on YouTube. And this one's open to our subscribers as well as non-subscribers. And to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is just to let us know that you would like to participate. Now, if you are a winner, please do respond within 24 hours, because if you don't respond, we are going to pick somebody else. So for notifications, I suggest that you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. We are going to announce the winners on our Instagram and YouTube channels in one week's time. So the giveaway winners will be able to pick any of these planner bundles that come with the multiple daily and weekly layouts and the different planner color options that you saw in the planner builder tool. So I hope you liked this video. Good luck with the giveaway. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.